Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have my mom and we are doing a Q&A for Mother's Day. You've never been on my channel before, no. but we thought to make things easier, we're not gonna do like a full, cause somebody suggested to do like a spa day at home and like do Q&A and stuff. And I thought it was a really cute idea, but we have toddlers downstairs and we're a little limited on time. So I thought we'd just do little like eye masks and they're not messy and they're nice. So here you go, I'll demonstrate. So I went through Instagram, I picked up questions. Thank you for everyone who sent them. So the first one is, does she think that you should have waited and not rushed into engagement slash marriage? So do you mm, think that I should have? No, I think you're okay because Mitchell's such a great guy and I really love him and mm -hmm. I think he, and you're a great match. And you're not married yet, so being yeah. engaged doesn't mean that you have to get married right away. Yeah. No. I think you guys are really cute too. Oh, thanks, mom. <laughs> Oops, I think I dropped one. That's okay. Why do you call? <laughs> what if you're allergic? Yeah, you're allergic to everything, so like hopefully. Mm. Yeah, they're nice and slimy. What's it like having kids close in age? You mean Josh and Steph? Yeah. Or you and Mike? <laughs> no. Well. No, probably, probably Josh and Stefan. <laughs> well, it's like good and bad. Like, they yeah. kind of play together, but they also drive each other crazy and us crazy. So yeah, but it's cool because like they get someone to kind of grow up with, and then like I got a lot of Joshua's hand me downs and stuff. So I it was a well, lot yeah, of... it's cool for you. Yeah, <laughs> you get to buy it all. I get to inherit it later. <laughs> I don't know, I think no, it's fun I think though. it's good, yes. Because Joshua was just like on, on his own. He's lonely. Yeah, and I feel like him and I wouldn't have been like as close. No, he doesn't even think about you or my kids as siblings. Yeah. We're way too old. Yeah. yeah. We're way too old. Okay, next. What is the most annoying thing that I used to do when I was younger? The most annoying? When you were skipping school in high school, that was uh -huh. probably Did you know? the most annoying. Huh? Did you know? No, I didn't know. <laughs> but I was kind of disappointed to do grades and all that, and then I did into school. That's annoying for me because I think it's important. Yeah, because you like, yeah, and you brought us here to Canada. Yes, it was and easy, so. Yeah, I get that. It's annoying when you put so much effort into doing something and your kids kind of blowing it off. Or blowing it away, I guess. I graduated though. <laughs> Great job. Yeah, okay, I agree with that. Okay, next question is, do you have the same relationship after you were pregnant? Love you guys. We love you. Hmm. I, I think, think. I think we're closer than we were. Before I was Probably, pregnant. yeah, because you had to grow up so fast. Mm -hmm. and I don't even think about you as my daughter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, like, you're very close to me, like, uh, not like daughter and mother, I think, we're more like friends. Yeah. I think before I was pregnant, like, we were not getting along. Like, I feel like that few months before I got pregnant, like, we were fighting a lot. Well, yeah, because we were doing stupid things that I wasn't agree with. Yeah. But. Yeah, and I feel like now no, I think in general, like if you look back on your life, I think I had decent relationship all the time. Yeah. Except for that part when I was <laughs> going crazy. <laughs> well, I don't think it would be changed or, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Just feel bad for you. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do you feel bad for me? Because you're still young. And... Yeah, but what am I missing out on? Partying? Like that's... Be, I, I still travel. Freedom, I still freedom. travel. I still. Your freedom, Vaya. You cannot do anything you want anytime you want. Yeah, but like. That that part. It. That's why I feel bad for you. Everything else worked out perfectly in your life when you had Stefan. But just that, like you know, belong. You don't belong to yourself when you have children. For a while. But... Yeah, maybe. I don't know, I feel like I got a lot further in life than I would have if I not. Yes, you did, Adam. but what if you didn't, then what? I'd still probably be like upgrading or something, <laughs> you know? Or Going maybe party and Stefan would be here full time. Oh, if if yeah. I didn't grow up, is that what you mean? Yeah, Yeah. even okay. if you had him. Even after oh, okay, if I had him and didn't like grow up, okay. 
Yeah. Were you worried about that? Were you worried about me? Yeah. Uh, no. Probably not that much. Not as much as Rob did. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you thought I was going to throw my baby in the dumpster? <laughs> that would mm. be tough. No, not a dumpster. I thought you would dump it on yeah. me and then just go with your life. But no. No. I don't think. I don't think I would have let you do that. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. That's good. That's good accountability. I like that. I think to the words like, while I was pregnant, I was still like spending time with friends and... I feel like I was just getting it out of my system because I knew that once I wasn't pregnant anymore, I would have a newborn and I couldn't sit at McDonald's at 2 a.m. talking to my friends, you know? Yeah, that part, don't you miss that? No, I get better yeah. sleep now. <laughs> I guess. Kind of. Can we relocate? Can we go right there? I feel like this lighting sucks. BRB. Okay, sorry y'all, we relocated. Next question. Favorite part about being a grandma? It's weird, See, right? because they're so close in age, <laughs> yeah. and I'm so preoccupied with Joshi. Mm -hmm. I feel that I'm really, really missing on Stefan, like big time. Because I don't do much just with him. I don't do anything just with him. It's so always do. Josh there. And then they fight, and I get stressed out, so... I don't know. That bothers me a lot. It, 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 yeah, it's weird. It's weird because they are so, so close in age, and like... You you don't have that like spoiling relationship no. with him, but that's not like that bad. I think like I think it is because that's what grandma's supposed to do. I if you know. never go that, it doesn't mean that that's the way it should be. I don't feel like I'm grandma to be honest. Just You're another young. baby. <laughs> no, <laughs> just just another baby because I have yeah. baby in the house as well. Okay, what did you say to Mitchell when he asked um, to marry? Well, I said to him that I'm so happy for you guys and I like him so much and I'm actually happy that he is going to propose to her. Because I think they're great together. <laughs> and I was feeling bad for him because he was so stressed and nervous. <laughs> and I was hoping that he would propose as soon as they get there so he could yeah. actually enjoy the vacation. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad he did that. After that. Yeah. I never had anything against Mitchell. He's amazing. Yeah, he's pretty cool. What was your first reaction to me being pregnant? So if you didn't know, like, you were there. We kind of both found out at the exact same time. Or maybe even you looked at the test before I did. Do you remember that? I do. Yeah. But I don't <laughs> think I remember my reaction. Do you remember my reaction? I remember you, like, stepped away. I was away. devastating. Yeah, were you disappointed or, like, mad or No, upset? I wasn't mad. I was devastating and I was mad at myself because I still think that it was totally my fault that I let you do all of that, it led you to pregnancy and I was like, oh my god, I was ashamed of myself. Oh, <laughs> I'm still is. No way. Yeah. So you were not like it's a bad thing that yeah. you have Stefan, but it's a, I think it's a big, I miss something with you, I guess with your bringing or something. I wasn't watching you closely enough, I guess, I don't know. But I think it's a, it was my mistake. Not even at all were you like, I'm mad at you. I'm disappointed. Hmm. Really at all? No. Wow. I feel like that's a really uncommon answer. I feel like most people say that they were disappointed. And I thought you were too. No, because you know our crazy Russian thing, you're responsible for your children. But that's not die. that's it not is. how it is. No, you're responsible to them. You're responsible to take care of them, but you're not responsible for their actions. Well, if they do something stupid, it means you didn't raise them properly. So yes, it's your fault. Nah, I don't agree with that. <laughs> but that's how I was raised, so that's what's in my mind anyway. I guess. But I think everything happens for a reason. Um, next question. Why did you come to Canada and was it hard leaving Ukraine and accustoming to a new way of life? It wasn't hard at all. Are you kidding because... me? It was so hard. Hmm. No, it wasn't because I never felt that I belonged to Ukraine or Russia. I always was feeling that I'm different, I don't know, it's not because I'm special, no, I just, mm -hmm. I don't like the culture, I don't like the way of life there. Is that why you left? Or like... No, 
course, I wasn't making any money, even with the education. I was living with my parents when I was 35. Fun. I wasn't able to provide. You were a doctor, like that's I was that's a crazy. doctor, but they don't make any money there. Like there was better. no, there was no future there. It didn't take me long to adjust, and I never missed it. I never been to Ukraine. Yet. Yeah. Since I came here. Do you want to? No. You don't want to go back at all? Hmm. What about like the language? Like, wasn't that hard for you? I remember that being hard for me. Language, yes. When I came here, I couldn't understand and I couldn't speak. I was able to read and write. I couldn't do that. But because I started living with Europe almost right away, English improved yeah, significantly. I think it's hard for people who come here like as a family with spouses and then they kind of still speak their language at home and they kind of... It's hard probably. Harder, maybe? Harder, yes, but when you're exposed to new culture, because you live with someone from that culture, I think it's much easier to transition. Yeah. But also, on like the flip side of that, like people that come as a family, they're more likely to retain the language. The language, yes, like but the it also original. impacts relationship. Lots of people get divorced here because they change so much. You know? What is the one thing that I always got in trouble for as a kid? I don't know, it's a hard one. I don't remember you getting in trouble all the time. Maybe ordering around? Yeah, I was going to say that, yes. probably. Yeah. <laughs> Being bossy? Yeah. Maybe, but... You were not doing something like stupid things on purpose, or... No. You were pretty good, except for being stubborn. Yeah, stubborn. And, <laughs> and bossy. Stubborn and bossy, yeah. Yeah, I used to get in trouble at like school and stuff, because I would try and boss... Mm -hmm. I remember this one time at... Um, this one school I was trying to boss around like the second graders while I was in grade one and like it was <laughs> they didn't like that <laughs> okay last question what's the biggest mothering advice that you can give to me or to mothers watching or future mothers always support your children and for your kids for you guys just follow your dreams it's very important to be in peace with yourself Mm. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's good advice. <laughs> okay, well, those are all the questions I had selected. Thank you so much for being here and answering them for me. It was so nice of you. I um, hope to edit this video ASAP and post it for you ASAP. But like, um, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Um, follow my Instagram. I'll have that below. And do you want your Instagram linked below? <laughs> no, no, I'm okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. Bye.